Oh boy, the affordable housing crisis just got worse in the United States. The U.S., of course, has been facing an affordable housing crisis for years now, especially since the Great Recession of 2008-2009. The number of homes available has been exceptionally low, and in recent years, the pandemic, rising interest rates, high rates of inflation have only worsened the matter. Estimates vary on exactly how much housing is needed right now, but the numbers are certainly in the millions, and we don't have the housing units to supply all of these people that need homes. There are a few reasons why there's such a shortage right now of homes. And in this video, we're going to dive into the main factors driving up the cost of housing, plus some realistic solutions that investors can use to bring more supply to the market. Now, the first thing you need to know is that at its core, the affordable housing crisis comes down to a supply and demand imbalance. But below the surface, there are actually many factors creating a lack of supply. Builders have been burned before, and they're hesitant to pick up the pace. They know what potentially could happen like 2008 all over again. New construction home has come to a screeching halt, of course, and it did so after the Great Recession. And then the industry never fully recovered. They've always been real hesitant to kind of go full bore like they were in 2008 or 2007 before the crisis. The costs of both materials and labor are also making it expensive to build affordable housing. The National Association of Home Builders saw a 9% decline in the rate of new homes being built as of August of 2023, citing concerns of affordability. Everything from lumber to the cost of land are creating difficulties for builders to keep up with demand while turning a profit at the same time. Higher interest rates also having a huge impact on the purchasing power, putting a, a halt on home buying purchases across the country Last week, we saw a mortgage rate for 30-year fixed mortgage hitting 8%. More and more people are choosing to delay even selling their homes because they've locked in a lower interest rate earlier and they just don't want to give up that lower interest rate in favor of a higher one. That's further putting a crunch on the availability of homes right now. Obviously, this is a complex situation. There's not a straightforward solution to addressing the housing shortage. For decades, policies intended to address the lack of housing have come up short because affordable rents are in short supply. Real estate investors are in a unique position right now to be able to add some relief to this situation at hand. So here are a few ways to relieve some of the pressure of the affordable housing crisis. We can add more supply to the market by offering affordable rental properties. Adding more supply to the housing market helps provide homes and reduces the overall inflation of rentals in the market. So as a rental investor myself, I feel good that we're putting great homes on the market that are not for primary home buyers, they are for rent, and that enables people to come in in great school districts and live there and pay rent. Consider offering programs like Section 8 to low-income individuals and families. Section 8 can be a great opportunity for landlords because it guarantees rental income directly from the government. Also, charging a fair market rent. Of course, your real estate investments are a business, right? You want to turn a profit. Look for a cash flow, though, of around $100 after the mortgage and after your expenses are paid. But be the type of landlord you would want to have, right? I mean, are you going to want to jack up prices ridiculously? Or do you want to keep it in line with making it affordable for people to live? Also, look for special offers like buying down credits to offset some of those costs. You know, a buy down of an interest rate is powerful and can really help offset some of those costs. Work with a team also that is building in bulk in order to keep the overall costs down for everyone involved, from the builder down to the tenant in the property. One of the most important elements of making a solid investment is buying right. And in an affordable housing crisis, that can be difficult to do. Right now is an especially difficult climate since interest rates are so high, supply is low, and then homes are overpriced right now in many, many markets. So at Morris Invest, which is my company, our new construction rental properties offer positive cash flow, solid appreciation, and massive tax benefits because we buy in bulk. We build 40 properties at one time. We're able to offer savings that are then passed down to the investor. So if you're interested in learning more about that, you can schedule a free call with my team. We'll jump on the phone with you for 30 minutes and tell you everything you need to know and learn a lot about you and your certain financial situation right now. So just go to morrisinvest.com. Click on the calendar button right there and book a call with our team. Now, we can expect years for this affordable housing problem to resolve itself since there are so many factors at play in the broader economy right now. But if you're able to add affordable housing options into any market, this is a great way to move the needle in a positive direction for America. So go out there, guys. Take action. Become a real estate investor. It's the number one way to build wealth. We'll see you next time.